hi good morning and you're welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl irene and you're welcome to another vlog is it vlog another video because i'm on vlog or video i'm going to go but i'm going to go over here anyway so um i'm getting ready to do something that if the house or you know something basically i'm not sure yet and i wanted to get ready with me and while i just do there's a lot of important thing that i need to tell you about about life you see life this life is very very important it doesn't matter whether it's the life of a good life of an animal life of a human being even life of a tree life is important actually this video was kind of inspired by uh, lily pope's tv one i watched one of her videos two days ago about abortion and i loved how real she was in that video if you haven't watched that video please do go check that video out okay she was very very real and she told us a lot of stories which really encouraged which kind of encouraged and inspired me for me so since i want to go out and i want to talk at the same time why don't i just do a chat to get ready with me and share my own experience too what i've learned and why you need to take life seriously so let's dive into the video if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell beside you so you get notified anytime i drop any video okay what else any other video? And then go to the comment section and drop a comment. So let's dive into it. So I just like to style my hair before any other thing, okay? To just, you know, style it up, then any other makeup can go. So I just finished having my bath and I washed my hair. You know, one thing with growing a virgin hair is that you can just pour water on your hair anytime you like. In fact, Pouring water on your hair is, is one of the things about, about about growing a virgin hair. So I always like to apply my Goya olive oil in my hair. Because I don't have any fast rule about my hair maintenance. I do whatever I feel like do. So So because all this company brands in the enemy market you should people should come and contact me. <laughs> Let me market your product for you people. So you can before not board. Let me start this story. So before I actually watched that Lily Pops TV, few days ago, few days before that day, we were actually discussing in the house. And remember I told you in this village uh there is electricity but they're having transformer issues. So before they actually brought the light into the village, uh that particular year that the light was supposed to come, the youth of this uh, village decided that you know they are going to clear their bushes clear the road so that they can bring in uh, electric poles because I'm not so called angry because so what they do is they will go to you know all these families all these houses that is inside inside the community and then they'll go cut down trees that trees that are blocking places where those they the pool will be placed so they got to this point now and there's this they cut they've cut down a lot of trees so there's this particular coconut that they wanted to cut down that coconut was uh was pregnant because that is ubu oche almost and that coconut tree according to the owners is their our oh, coconut i don't know how to explain it in english uh, see if you have a particular livestock that is doing very well that gives birth to a lot of children even if it is a uh, cocoa farm good and oh, yeah, ako. you know i don't know how to explain it in english so there's a particular name that is given to it. So that coconut was an alcohol, coconut alcohol, you know. So and it was it had a lot of children like Oche Oma. <laughs> Not explain it. So now these guys they came and they wanted to cut down that coconut tree. Then the owners of this coconut tree said, No, please don't cut it down. Um you see it has a lot of children on its branches, so and it it will soon, you know, Get ready to add the hog hair bag if you do it away already. So please don't cut it down. Instead, cut this other one down, but leave that particular coconut tree because it's a very important coconut tree. Instead, after our charomia, we can now cut it down. But these guys refused. They refused. So along the line, after so much dragging and talking and talking, some agreed. But there's this particular guy that, that just didn't agree. He just brewed the case in this year now. So in here, we're going to have a cut coconut. Excuse me, I think I have a cut. Most to order and I got caught already this coconut. Everybody pleaded and pleaded, she refused. Then after every every he cut down the coconut with all its children and they all fell to the ground. And everybody was like, Hey, even the people that came to cut the coconut with him were like, Ah, a guy shouldn't have cut it, you should have let it be. Ah, look who me I we've just wasted this coconut now. 
and he didn't even feel remorse. He was like, what is cooking out? So, Biko, I am applying my black up makeup style. Let me show you guys. Black up makeup style. This is the powder I use, Biko. So he cut down the coconut tree and left. The owners of the coconut tree were so upset and unhappy with what he did. Then they didn't not not even one person took the coconut because they were not hackable, they were still very little and you know. So what they did was that they poured the entire coconut on the ground there and nobody touched it. So people anybody that comes in walks into the compound and sees that coconut is like, hey, who did this kind of thing? Wow, this is very, very bad. The person that did it should go and apologize to so the person that did it should go and apologize, but he felt that this coconut. He didn't apologize. So after a long time, after a year or two, he got married. And when he got married, this is five years now. This person hasn't doesn't have children. And the funny thing is that the owners of this coconut have actually sent a message to him that he should come and apologize so that they can push that coconut so that he can start having children, but he doesn't believe in these things. Honestly, I don't know if I should believe in this, but after having that discussion that day, it took my memory back to what happened some years back when I was coming back with my mom one day. Uh, that day, at that time, I wasn't even married. It was still, still a very, very long time. That about 10 years ago or so. So we were coming back from meeting one day, and we got to one particular farm. Come and see what happened. Everybody was just gathered. Everybody was shouting, Hey, you name me the Henka. Chai, you name me the Henka. You name me the Henka. Do you know what happened? That one man, Kuro Ruby, has a farm close to where another man was wearing goods so now this man that is wearing goods will leave his goods and is going to come and be eating what this man planted in his own farm this man that owns the farm has complained before complained and complained and nobody seemed to listen nobody seemed to care the owner of the goat was like and the man kept complaining and complaining that one day he came to his farm and look again these goats both the ones that are pregnant, the children, all of them are inside his farm, eating everything that he planted on his farm. In that annoyance, he took a knife, got to that place that the goats were, and started slaughtering them. He going with Rubu, he going with Rubu, he started slaughtering all of them. He slaughtered out to three or four goats. Two were pregnant, heavily pregnant. You know what he did? Not only did he even slaughter the mother of the goats, he opened the goats stomach open this like this you will see oh my goodness you will see those good children and they have not really died completely you see that everybody got there and everybody was shouting hey why would this man do this kind of thing why would this man do this kind of thing hey this man why what is this kind of why would he kill these innocent goods why would he do this and we were all standing there looking at the goods and we're like ah, why would this man do this kind of thing and one woman came out and saw it and was like, Hey, what kind of thing home you? Where are you? This man doesn't even know what he has done to himself. This man doesn't even know what he has done to his generation. If this man knows anything, now this man should run to the people who own this good and start begging. Anything that they ask him to do, that he should start doing it. That this thing happened to her. That is a typical example of what... That this thing now is the same thing that happened to her. That years back, she started narrating her own story. That years back, before her husband married her. That her husband has a farm where she, he plants, you know, foodstuffs and the rest. So now for it, I have gonna make up more. <laughs> Anyways, so this man, every time he goes to his farm, and on another people that raise a fowl or cocoa will leave their fowl, and therefore will enter this man's uh, farm and start eating his livestock, everything that he planted. This man has complained the first time. This man has complained the second time, and yet nobody seemed to be listening. Nobody seemed to, you know, did they know cocoa? Huh? So this man came again one day, and look, these fowls are inside his farm again, devouring everything. The unka trafufu konubia. And this man became so upset that he said, okay, I'm going to be showing you kick. He started digging a hole, digging a hole, digging a hole. After digging that hole, he started chasing the fowl into that hole. The rest of the fowl ran away. But one particular fowl had children, had chickens, chicks, what is it called? So the mother hen, you know, fled and ran away. But its chicks were still there, crying, mom, 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 I don't know what they are crying anyway. And you know what this man did? This man chased those chickens, those chicks, into the hole that he dug. He dug. And covered it with sand and left. The following day, he came back to check his farm. To check his farm. On
only to see that the mother hen has died at that particular spot he buried her chicks at that point he felt bad for that fowl anyways but he didn't call it anything he's like what is fowl and he left years later he got married and had five children after having five children a few years later two of his child two of his children died in one day and he felt maybe it's just sickness maybe there's nothing uh god gives god takes you know that's what they're not the thing most people say when things like this happen forgetting that god doesn't give and take anything now a few days later a few months later another set too became sick they went to the hospital hospital did a lot of things yet this guy didn't recover two died one died in the morning the other one before they got to him the other one died at this point his wife was like ah they went to uh, uh the prayer houses and prayer houses told them that and uh, that this man killed a woman with her children let me say it in Igbo, not really a woman that this man killed men or more and the man checked and said ah men or more more than children i've never killed in my life before I don't know what killing is. I've never killed. What did I used to kill this with this man? I've never killed all my life before. The people told him to go and think very well that he has that he killed a mother and children in the years past. So he went home and told his wife, "Don't mind all these stupid people. What are they even saying? What do they mean by that I kill a mother and children? I've never killed in my life before." Then the woman, after giving it a serious thought, remembered one time her husband told her a story about him killing a fowl and children. And the woman said, are you sure it's not that far and the children that you buried their life? Are you sure this? Hey, God, um, are you sure? Please, I don't want to lose this only one remaining. This is the only one remaining. Let's go and beg. Let's go and beg the owners of those fowl. Please, let's go. The woman ran to go and beg the owners of the fowl. When she got there, the owners of the fowl, they knew, said they knew that the man killed that fowl. But they, but they didn't just know that. He actually buried them alive. But anyway, that they don't know what else to say. That the deed has been done and it's been a long time ago. So, that it's only God that will judge anyway. The woman begged and begged and begged, but unfortunately, she lost the remaining child. After having, I, I don't know, you see, if you're a mother, you guys, you know what it took you to have one child. You know the stress, you know the suffer. That's one of my land, them more in anger. That what don't matter, mother. And then this children will not come and die of what their father did. This children will not come and die of what their parents did without knowingly or knowingly. You see why we have to be careful? Now look at the woman that killed, that cut down the coconut. After how many years now, the wife hasn't even given birth. Don't be surprised now that this woman might carry the tag of uh, Barry. A lot of people call her name, telling her all sorts of stuff that she's this one, she's that one. Without even knowing where the problem is coming from. Without even knowing where the source of her, the roots of her problem. You see how we, why we should take life serious. You see why we should teach our children to value life. See even the Bible that any meat, any animal that you know, you're not killing to eat. Or... That animal is not endangering your own life. Do not kill that animal. If it is snakes that snake that came into your house, you know that this snake is dangerous. It, it will harm you definitely. One day it might harm you. So that one killing it, it is you're protecting yourself. But you see harmless, harmless animals that on their own that did not do you anything. And then even if they came into your farmland yes i know people are going to say what about this man that has been complaining about his farm there are so many ways of handling things without killing if this man had seized those goats and locked them up in his house then these people now will come and pay a ransom to get this their goats back and when they finally get their goods back they will know that they shouldn't leave their goats you know freely again the same way with the fowls you can even take them and go and sell them. It's your money. Nobody's going to do it because everybody heard you talking and talking and talking about it. But you taking those or matters life into your hands by killing those things. Imagine burying chickens alive, God. Imagine the mother of that, though that fowl died there because of heartbreak. You might say it's just an animal. What does this animal know? But that fowl died of heartbreak. So guys, this video is kind of to let us be wise. Let us use our brain. Value life. Life and embryo is important. Those people that say eh, abortion is better than burning and throwing your child away is a lie. Abortion is even worse because life is life. Do not do abortion. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying I shall be everything. But life is very, very important. Nobody should play with life. If you've made the mistake of getting pregnant, then have that child. After having the child, do not throw that child away. Sell the child. Do not kill that child. Sell the child if you can't take care of that child. Or look for somebody you can dash the child. I do hope you learned one or two things from this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to say your mind 
I want my comment section to be so interactive. Say your mind, say what you think about this video in the comment section. Okay, drop your views, your questions, anything. And if there's any type of video you want me to film, just please say so in the comment section and share this video. Okay, I'll see you in my next video. So, be good. Don't forget, I'm not finished this makeup. Oh, yeah, we could finish it. I don't know why. I just don't know how to talk and do makeup at the same time. Sorry, I'm using the screen to do mirror. You know the funny thing is, I don't know where my daughter kept my pencil. I'll pack this thing finish, and this girl can be opening my, 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 my bag, makeup bag. We won't need you, me, him, na, he need you, man. Eh? Mama, ni abu, ni ni me, ni ni me makeup on over. Anyway, take the note down, man. Who gave me the note down? This is my, ma is it mascara? It's called mascara. It's mascara. No, eyeliner.